Across the country, Margaret Thatcher divided opinions, and so it was in the South. Contrast the triumphant return of the Falklands fleet to Portsmouth with the women's peace protest at Greenham Common in Newbury against American cruise missiles. Compare the protests against the poll tax, even in well-heeled Berkshire, with the hero's welcome the former Prime Minister got on the 2001 election trail in Romsey. Margaret Thatcher was the best boss I've ever had. I enjoyed working for her. It was a privilege to take ideas to her and to argue some of them through to a successful conclusion. She was brave, she was honest, she changed Britain. I think she changed it for the better. I was fortunate enough to be in the House of Commons when she was at the zenith of her power, so you saw her on a daily basis. Absolute control of both the House of Commons and of the country. She was very careful not to um, quarrel with professional advice, sensibly presented, and she listened to what she was told and acted upon it sensibly. And as a senior military man, you can ask for no more from a, from a top, top politician. When tragedy struck Hungerford in Berkshire, the Prime Minister was quickly there. Look at this peaceful evening. It seems almost impossible that it could have happened, and that's what everyone says, but it did. We'll roll back the years of Thatcherism! Mrs Thatcher's battle with the trade unions had less impact in the South than her push for home ownership through council house sales. In the southeast of, of England, in particular, Margaret Thatcher was supported by, I would have said, 80% of the population who thought she was wonderful. In the north, where you had 50 people going for one job, it was a different kettle of fish altogether. So there were many divisions. That was what happens, I suppose, when you have somebody with such very clear, very strong beliefs that they are right and theirs is the only way. Well, Margaret Thatcher was a hugely significant leader and she was elected at a time when the country wanted change. Today should be for the family, but I think the question for history will be whether the changes she made needed to do so much damage to so many people and to so many important institutions like the National Health Service. Mrs Thatcher enjoyed party conferences in Bournemouth and had her brush with death in the Brighton bombing. Very well, thank right. you very much. Our worry is uh, whether there's anyone under that rubble. I love meeting people and I love seeing wonderful things like we're seeing today. It's a great success story for Britain. And in concentrating on the person you're talking to and in concentrating on what you're doing, it's both very, very concentrated and very relaxing. I suppose the secret is that if you're lucky enough to be doing in life what you really want to be doing, that absorbs all your attention. If you look at the really great Britons, Churchill, Nelson, all sorts of other people, they were the right people at the, at the right time. And uh, clearly the country, uh, when she came to power, really needed radical change. It needed a tremendous, uh, tremendous courage uh, at the helm, and, and she provided that. In recent years, poor health led Mrs Thatcher to restrict her appearances, but whilst opinion remained split on her achievements, she felt the warmth of public affection. Peter Henley, BBC South Today.